Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson and Jeffrey Rhodes from experimentalhomesteader.com and I have to tell you we have a real surprise for you today but first I need to tell you that I did receive this item for free in exchange for my honest review and all opinions are our own. A look what we have here from the Baconer. It is an entire box. What? <laughs> it, it came with this little packet of information. It is an entire box. Sorry, Jeff. Uh -huh. Bacon. Bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Um, oh. I was reading on this. Uh, they do ship it. It's packed inside of a Mylar bag with at least three pounds of uh, ice pack to keep it cold. They ship it uh, overnight. Uh, they ship out uh, via FedEx um, Monday through Wednesday to uh, guarantee uh, delivery uh, and not worry about weekends. They also uh, exclude holidays. Yes, and so it comes with a sheet of shipping facts. Um, on the back, it also tells how to cook bacon. Um, this bacon is fully cured and smoked, so it can tolerate thawing and transit. And it says if it thaws, which they have a nice ice pack in this, but if it thaws, you can go ahead and refreeze it, and it's good for up to six months. Um, or without, 30 days refrigerated. Yeah, without damage to quali <laughs> qua quality. Quality, yes. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Um... It also says that sometimes uh, carriers experience delays beyond their control. So if it's in transit for more than two days, they do ask that you get a hold of them and let them know so they can fix the problem. Um, we got the uncured and sugar-free bacon box, which has four items in it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to let Jeff tell you about those because we... Hold it up so we could actually tell you exactly what is in here. Um, bacon. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, they do have it. Everything it's, is better with bacon. It's right here on their website um, if you want to pull it up. This was a $66 package that we received. And again, it was free. Um, okay, go ahead. Okay. This says uh, uncured and sugar-free. Offered in a skillet-ready quartet of our signature artisan cuts. This pure and simple bacon is lightly seasoned with salt and thyme, showcasing the natural flavors of heritage breed Duroc pork with a wisp of applewood smoke. Um, it's uh, perfect for bacon lovers on sugar-free diets, including keto, paleo, and Whole30. Uh, it's made without using or without adding nitrates or nitrites. Um, and this was why I was interested in it because my doctor has told me no salt and no sugar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is this is minimizing both of those um, yeah. in the, the curing process. Uh, they do use. Um, uh, Humanely raised uh, uh, Duroc pork yeah. from uh, uh, small fa local families, uh, family farms. Um, Which I love that. Yeah. And uh, so it's a sustainable resource. Yes. Um, responsibly sourced in small family farms. That's yes. what I was trying to come up with. Yes. <laughs> Um, and I'm good, we're going to show you what we actually got, but I wanted to show you some of their other products first. Um, they have a candied bacon rub. Um, that's one of their new seasons and they, seasonings, and they also have a smoked bacon sausage. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah, they have, they have a, uh, a smoked bacon sausage box that I was looking at. Uh, and it showed the, the, the bacon sausages wrapped in bacon. And it was like, oh. Uh, 
<laughs> they did send a brochure with all of their different cuts. Um, I realize that you guys probably can't see this. Um, but they have a bacon lover box. They have a mega bacon box. A bacon boss box. Uh, the uncured and sugar free, which is what we got. The candied bacon rub. And then you can also buy a la carte if you want. Um, the extra, extra large bacon steaks. We will be showing you those and wait until you see how thick they are. Um, a small batch of bacon. The smoked lardons ground bacon, and smoked sausage. So there's something here for everyone. And I want to throw this out here uh, right now. They are working on putting together a year's supply of bacon that is going to come in a cooler, an old-fashioned cooler that they've had specially created for this year's supply of bacon. And my first thought was those of you who like to stock up and not miss out on your bacon, especially with the California bacon law going into effect here soon. Um, this is your perfect chance because you can buy a year's supply of bacon. Doesn't matter if your grocery store has bacon or not because you're going to have bacon. So um, once that does come out, I will be talking a little bit more about that. Sleepy much over there? Sneeze. Sneeze. Ah, okay. Try not um, to sneeze everywhere. <laughs> Um, but Jeff is going to open this up. I have cut it open, yeah. um, because I wanted to take some pictures earlier and see what was inside. And it says on the, uh, the Mylar, it says, Hey, bacon lover, contents may be thawed. Please see our shipping fax card for more information. Yes. So I would just lift it up like That's this. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm lifting it out. Okay. Set it aside. Oh. Yes. Very nicely packaged. Yes, and the Mylar bag was completely sealed. I used scissors and cut that open. Um, I was very impressed with the size of the ice pack that they put in. I mean, That's, this thing is still frozen. Yeah. So this is a big ice pack. Well, the, the information I read, it said it was at least a three pound. Yes. So depending on what the size of the, the box that you're getting, it comes with at least three pounds of... of ice pack in there the bigger boxes would be more to, to keep everything cold yes okay let's see what's first okay this is going to be the uncured smoked lardons um, and those look really really good yes. yes i had never heard of lardons before it's, what i was reading it's a, it's a staple in french cuisine um and what you can do with these, I was reading, um, you know, you heat them up, you can throw them in salads, um, you can put them in pasta. Uh, there's just all sorts of, of you know, ideas. Large for, bacon uh, bits. They're large bacon bits, yes. 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 Yes, and I or was you reading. Can just, you can just uh, eat them as a snack. Really? Like that? Wow. Well, you just heat them up and okay. just warm them up and, and eat them. Okay, because so, I was going to say, I read that they get crispy on the outside, but they're still really tender inside. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But they're they're bite-sized bacon pieces. Yes. So, okay. So, that's the, the okay, Lardons. that's the Lardons. Oh, I think these are the bacon steaks. Oh, yeah. Oh, bacon yeah, those steaks. are the bacon steaks. Wow. Okay. Here's the bacon steaks. Okay, these are, these are uh, salt and pepper. Yes, and, and I want to try to show you guys. Look at the thickness. Can you guys see that? They're a, they're a half inch cut, is what I was reading. Yes. So Talk a, about a, a bacon steak. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, that's a half inch thick slice of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> and did you read any recipe ideas with those other than just to eat them like they are? <laughs> um. I, I was seeing they, they had several recipes uh, uh, on the, the site for each each in, uh, item. They, 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 they listed several recipes. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones I saw for the bacon steaks. Um, 
I didn't actually look at the recipes. I just read <laughs> the, the, the titles of the recipes. Okay. Um, I was drooling bad you, enough You could pull it. it up real quick if you wanted. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to pull it up. Guys, uh, this would make a really great holiday gift for someone, too. Um, for a hostess, for someone you need to gift something to. Everybody loves bacon. Okay, well, there's okay. There's a recipe for green beans with smoked lardons. Oh, that would be good. Uh, that would be good. There's bacon-wrapped bacon meatloaf. That sounds um, good, too, actually. Which is using one of the other items in our package. Yes. Yes. Um, and you, you had the bacon-wrapped carrots that yeah. I really think I'm going to have to try. Um, that, that sounded really interesting. I've I'm done bacon-wrapped find... green beans, and but I had never thought about bacon-wrapped carrots. And I've done bacon-wrapped turkey, too. Yeah. So, and bacon-wrapped corn. Yes, I've top. done bacon-wrapped corn. Yes. It was the million-dollar bacon... Oh, show um, that. That looks so good. Oops. Oops. We're getting let me see. Yeah, let me light. see if I... There we go. That's, Doesn't that, that was, look really good, guys? Yeah, I was just wanting to... to... Okay. There it is. Oh, that's an appetizer. Wow. Okay, that's the, the triple... That's the triple... Or the... Double XL maple sugar bacon steaks. With brown sugar and With bacon brown sugar rub and on the, it. The candied bacon rub. Okay. Okay. That's the million dollar bacon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, but there was also chicken fried bacon steaks and waffles. Ew. Well, <laughs> you might want to show, let me show that. Yeah, show that one. Yeah. Oh, I Look at that. I don't know what I think about that, but hey, <laughs> it's um, an idea. Because we already mentioned the uh, the meatloaf. Yes. Uh, we're going to, this is the uncured ground bacon. Yeah, look um, at this. So it, it's ground up bacon. Um, think about could, bacon boogers. Yeah. Mix that in with the hamburger to make your... your bacon burger yeah. instead of having slices of bacon that fa fall off the, the burger or, or you take a bite and the whole thing comes you know, <laughs> from yeah. between the, the, the bun. Or mix it in with your hamburger or your uh, buffalo when you make meatloaf. Or Venison sausage. too, yeah. 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 Any, yeah. any of, of your ground meats you can you can mix this in with yes. to add that bacon flavor yes. you know, to it, uh, which just... Yes. It's, it's a very interesting product that I hadn't thought, I hadn't even seen before. So yeah. I think this is a pretty unique product to uh, the Baconer. Yeah. So, and we do have one last item to show you. Uh, this is the uh, uncured small batch bacon. Um, and it is still pretty thick. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's yeah. a thick slice. It's not yeah. the there's the back the extra, of it. extra large slice of the bacon steaks, but it's it's a thicker slice. It's it's not your real thin little strip of bacon. That, yeah, you know, can you taste me now after I fry <laughs> up? <laughs> yeah. um, which we're we're probably going to have a little bit of issue when we uh, when we make some of these when I fry the bacon. She likes her bacon extra crispy. I don't. Um, I, I like a little flimsiness to my bacon, um, so I'll, I'll probably have to pull some of it off early for me, <laughs> um, so it doesn't get as crisp. But all of this looks just you know wonderful it, as far as as you know the it just the, the really appearance does. of it. Um, you know. Here are the two bacons compared side by side. Yeah. So you yeah, can, you can, you can see, see. Yeah, you can see. It looks like the, the regular slice is, is maybe uh, like a quarter inch slice versus the half inch slice. So um, 
it may be a little thinner than that, but it's 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 still pretty good. Um, okay. Yeah. Now, if you go to the Baconer, and it's B A C O N E R, they have a whole listing of recipes here, and again. Um, I know that there are those bacon wrapped carrots. Yeah, those look good. Yeah, we'll have to actually look at the recipe. The, the deviled eggs was kind of a. You know, Here is a salad. Kale Caesar salad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, devils on horseback. Look at that. That said, pitted dates stuffed with Stilton cheese, cheese and wrapped in bacon. bacon. Yeah, um, it's an appetizer. And with the holidays coming up, you yeah. know, I know a lot of you are going to be looking for appetizers. A lot of you are going to be looking for gift ideas. Um, a lot of you are going to be looking for special things you can make for breakfast for your own family. Mm -hmm. that's, and, that's one of the things I'm yeah. looking forward to. Some bacon and eggs. Just plain, simple bacon and eggs um, with, you know, our own eggs from our own chickens yes. that, you know, are wonderful. Added to this, this bacon, uh, I think is going to be a, uh, a fabulous breakfast for me. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that, that's that, a staple breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Then so we'll try some other recipes and stuff with some of the other stuff. Yeah, so I really want to encourage you to go check the Baconer out. And again, it's B-A-C-O-N-E-R. Um, the website is, well, your phone don't quite work <laughs> the same way as mine. No, it doesn't, so. It's just the, T-H-E, B-A-C-O-N-E-R yeah. dot com. So definitely go check their website out. Look at the different products they have. Think about ways that you can use them. That candied bacon would be wonderful on desserts. Um, what was that cheesecake that you had that those would be good on? There was it a maple oh, bacon cheesecake? Yeah, it was a maple bacon cheesecake. Yeah. Um, so something like this candied bacon would be really good. Yeah. To add to something like that. Um, I know there's maple bacon donuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, they use maple bacon in just about anything and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the candied bacon would be good for that and a good way to add something really unique into your holiday desserts or mm -hmm. your everyday desserts for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, or even your meals. I mean, I wonder how good those would be in green beans. Excellent. Yeah. I, I, I think that would be a great, because they had a couple of green bean recipes yeah. with the bacon. I think the candied bacon would um, make a sweet green bean. Yeah. Um, like your, your maple syrup bacon um, and those these would also really add that unique homemade taste and a unique look to your salads your holiday meals again if you want something to really stand out and baked let, potato oh yes Oh, I just oh, thought yeah. that was, oh, that was uh -huh. on a baked potato. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Something to really let your guests know that you want that extra mile for them. And I really think it's great that they're sustainable, that they purchase their products from small family farms, and that they use a heritage breed. Yeah. That it, That is really important because these heritage breeds need to be saved. Mm -hmm. So... That was another reason why I was so interested in getting this package, trying this, and working with this particular company. So, any last thoughts? Uh, I'm just ready to uh, start frying some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so, please go check out The Baconer. It's thebaconer.com. If you purchase something from them, let them know that you saw it from us or that you saw it on Experimental Homesteader so that they know where you're coming from and so that they know that you did see the video. Um, again, like I said, this item was free in exchange for my honest review and all opinions are our own. And we will be back to let you know exactly what we think of this these 
different bacon products once we have a chance to try them. I will be putting the recipes up on experimentalhomesteader.com so that you can check those out and try those for yourself as well. So thanks for watching. I hope that you guys will subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh... and keep an eye out for more. <laughs> So follow us. Um, yes, yes, because like I said, we will be doing some reviews of the products once we have a chance to try them out. Yeah, yeah. So, so have a good night, yeah. everybody. Stay safe out there. Bye.